Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Bug mod here waging a glorious, amazing, wonderful war of amazement. We've trimmed Doom down to a mere 0.8 a year. 0.8 a year. Not even one point. 0.8. My allies foolishly got involved in a fight they should not have. Go on, seize the province down. Yes! I'm going to suffer, sadly, some sieging of my territory. But I can work around that. No, I'm afraid I'm going to let those guys die. there in time to save them? Yes, yes I can. Not the slaughter I hoped for, but it's still a win. And I'll take my wins. Uh, 10 prestige, they hate me. Of course I'll take, yeah, they can hate me all they want. I'm taking Perhaps a foolish move. It worked out for me, but it could have gone very poorly. Ooh, um. Yes, inflation reducing man. Demilat reputation. Oh, no, no, improve relations man. In. Oh, exiles! Exiles in the Aztec Empire. I mean, those are points. And this is a stack wipe. I hope. Yes! I still have enough troops there to get the siege to be ticking in my favor. <laughs> I 
What do we got? Six. Nine. Yeah, I could do that. Well, any of them have siege? No one has siege! I might have to peace out on this one. Um, oh no! The comets. Um, in a way that I didn't, because that guy, he's gonna he's gonna force my va my ally out of the war. Yeah, he will leave the war shortly. And they're gonna try and siege that guy down. Breached. Ah, they're going after my vassal. That's okay. Could I unseize my vassal or my my ally? Potentially. Yes, yes, I can. Good, good, good! Hey buddy, how would you like to Minus three. Length of war will fix that, though. Oh, hello. <gasps> Hold religious festival. Lose ten. Doom. Yes, please, game. All right, doom reduced. Fantastic. Seeching down my vassal, it does not help you in the to the degree you think it does. Perfect. That gets them out of the war. There we go. They'll be my vassal. They super baby hate me. 
That's okay. Minus 43. So it sounds like I'm in a situation where I need a siege to go through. Oh, they're involved in two wars! Can't even unseize that. Bloodletting! I guess you have to do this. Profiting tobacco. Yes, I'll take tobacco. Sweet, juicy tobacco. I might get a few vassals out of this. Turn on subject rule. Boundary dispute. Get a claim. There. They can hate me. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, buddy, you have to have ruined yourself with this plan. You're going to be getting three, six, eight doom. Eight. Eight doom. Ah, they went over there to my ally again. It's fine. Not worried about that. Not have done that. Didn't realize their debt was that much, but ah well. Here's what it is. I'm still making a profit.
Speaking of profits, any sign of the Europeans? Not that I can see yet. It's been, what, 40 years of gameplay? Oh, doing a little, little battle with them. Interesting. Allies lost. Looks like they won. Temple wouldn't be bad. So here's my question. What war is this that Kalim is involved in? Attacker against the Kaliman conquest of Amaxico. Okay. And is it them on their own? It looks like it's them on their own. So if I force them to peace out, I will pick up that war. Should probably give me the five I needed. Be able to get that down actually. I mean, I, I don't know if I can get them to have a positive opinion, but I think I can get them below. I need to take this capital if I'm going to take a uh, take the piece, which is I'm okay with. There it is. Two of them as vassals. Now we're at war with Kalima. Defenders. It's just them, though.
sweet. How many do I have now? I have four subjects. Ah, I got their vassal too. I see, I see. I think I can work with this. I think I can work with this. Come help defend me, buddy. So it's just me against them? Just me against them. Alright, well that's fine. We can just let this tick on on its own. Bold fighter. All right. Fourteen. Yeah. We've got that handled. Turnala had doomsday. Oh, poor them. There we are. I got two under 47%. So I'll make them a vassal and I'll demand cash money. Oh, the growth of the administration. Council of Nobility. Trade, monthly autonomy. Well, the only one I can really afford to take the penalty to looks like... Yeah, I guess we'll take... It, it gives me a little more cash. So yeah, once I take that, 1.4... Won't be much, but it will be something. 30 diplomatic points! There it is. Hey, buddy! Uh, yeah, so here's, you're gonna be a vassal. And you're gonna give me you're gonna give me money. And I fulfilled a mission. What mission did I fulfill? Roads for the Pokteka. So at least that have been replaced one time. Oh, okay, nice. We get some uh, some policies that get upgraded. Trading policies, nice. There we go. The Pocteca are in dis desperate need of our help. The lack of roads within our land has proven quite inefficient in terms of transportation. Let's construct a new road for any merchant wishing to travel big distances of land. Hey, buddy, can I, uh, I would like a little military access to get my army home. There we are, new glorious leader. It's fertile. That's okay. Three bucks a month. And now, she will spend all of my time making my goons love me. So this time I'm going to hold back. I'm going to take some time to, imp to improve their opinions of me before I try and vassalize them. Already made your moves, eh? I don't know how long your freedom is going to last, buddy. It's 
definitely get that into the positive. Because we can get up to 200. Loyal goons now. Oh, they even have a treasury that's getting cash. What do we got? Six. Oh, you are a good heir and a great wife. Uh, minus ten doom. Yes. Always take the doom reduction. Made that cheaper too. So now, if I had if I had low enough doom, and I did it, I would keep two goons: Zalisco and Kalima. Sorry, uh, Zalisco and Mixtech would remain as my loyal goons. I'm gonna have to work with for a bit. Because, because, to reform the religion, I need all the religious reforms, and a neighbor that embraced any of the institutions with an adjacent core province. Which means either I need to spend it to make it happen so I can embrace it, or somebody else is gonna have to do it. Didn't even get any. Stalled entirely. Experience that. But I should be able to buy you. And then I can actually build some temples. Which will be amazing. Because that is going to do so much wonders for my, my income situation. Sweet little temples. Well, oh, it gives me Tonali too. Next month. He did not waste time with his wife. There we are. Build temples. Oh, sacrifice prisoners. Or... Oh, everyone hates me. The gladiatorial stone happens in one day. The Feast of the Flaying Men. Ooh. Spring equinox and planting season draws near. The time of Tlaxipe Huitzli is upon us. Our first is at war to the Temple of Zipe Totec. The gods are skillfully born by their captors and the priests of the temple before being saved in a holy cave. Much blood will be spilled. Yes! I mean, it gives me a point of stability as well. The fight begin. Do one more. Oh, great spectacle. Let's see. Uh, when Captain Ward is competing against the four of our best Eagle and Jaguar warriors while tied to a sacrificial stone and armed with a mock weapon. Uh, assuming he wins, he will face one final left handed fighter. I always like to get more spectators. Celebration, corporate warrior, a great spectacle. 80%. Well, you know what? I'm curious. Let the fight begin. Nothing, nothing amazing. But 4.1. That's true. That's true. I'll be a very happy.
When I'm building a... Oh no, I didn't cancel that. No! I hit... I didn't build a temple! I hit the wrong button! Oh, I'm a dumb person. Wow. Go me. Go me. Oh. 1646. I'd like you to focus actually on Kalima. Oh well. Guess that'll be fine. Well, that's a little awkward. On that awkward note, we'll take our break here. Uh, get to working down my doom and other such things. And yeah, we'll come back soon and hopefully, hopefully, we can get the passive doom reduction, which will go so far to establishing us as the ultimate local power. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in a bit.